human beings really have very little power. And, you know, if you think of what is standing in, in the way of us changing the world for the better, and things just staying the same, and especially with a lot of um, hopelessness, compliance, uh, and excuses of, well, it's just it's too much. We cannot do it. We can't change the world because of um, human nature, really. That's what it comes down to. Um, yeah, and the, pro the problem is uh, powerlessness. We're really powerless within that. The only thing that has true power um, because we have given it true power is money. So some, some human beings on this planet do have the power to move things, make things happen, cause big changes uh, because they have money. And the rest of us um, who don't, I have enough money, certainly, I'm not complaining. Uh, I have enough, but there are so many who don't, so that's why I'm speaking up. And one of the things that I do is um, listen to interviews from Equa. Um, and this is an audio store online. And it is uh, truly empowering, uh, particularly the one I just listened to, called The Crucifixion of Jesus. And I will include the link. And in that, the being uh, talks about... And it is a series, so he will be speaking, he, she, whatever, about this in detail, uh, not just theorizing, but in detail over a number of audios. And uh, in this particular one, the being talks about the specific words um, which the man who walked this earth once, or not, uh, named Jesus, said. And he said, um, the power of two or more in my name. And the being talks about what this means and what the implications are and the power of words. The power of words. So not only are we not empowered because of money, but we don't even understand what power is. See, human beings don't understand what power is. And they don't understand the power of words. And even each individual letter that make up the words. And how you know, what huge implication and impact this can have on creation. Uh, words are creation. And, you know, it's really significant what is being communicated here. It's challenging. you got to step outside the box, but it's also practical. So I urge you to uh, investigate the link and uh, research this for yourself, the power of words and how it can change us, in fact, and be a step towards changing our world in a significant way, to make it a place desirable and best for all, and not just the lucky, wealthy few. Thank you.